Hey everyone, it's Diane. So today I am going to do a balloon smash on this 16 by 20 canvas. It's an Artist Loft Level 1. And I'm going to use some cool color tones and I will tell you what those are as I do it. I did want to show you my last balloon smash which um, turned out pretty good. And that would be this one. Um, I did lines of different colors throughout and then I took a balloon and smashed it all up. Now, I use, instead of regular balloons, which I bought at the dollar store, I also bought water balloons, which are much smaller and easier to handle. And that's what I ended up using on this. And that's also what I'm going to use on this, even though it's a bigger canvas, because it's still a decent size bottom push balloon. So, um, instead of doing the lines this time, though, I'm going to do a puddle pour. I heard, I heard and saw somebody that did a puddle pour, and it turned out amazing, and I honestly cannot think of her name right now. But, let's get started. So, I will tell you the colors as I go along. Um, uh, two of them have silicone. And if, I'm doing the cool, but in the end, if it turns out good, I'm going to add a little yellow, which also has silicone in it. Um, I'm really low on my purple lake that I want to use. I'm running low on that. So, uh... I'm going to start out with my Craftsmart Sapphire, and I think I'm going to go from one end to the other. And just remember, you can always add more, because as you see, this is putting a lot of paint on here. And I don't have that much of my other paints, so. Um, ooh, I'm sorry about the hitting the tripod. In between this, I like to just get the air bubbles out that I see in the paint. I do the same thing with resin. It makes life easier. So on top of this sapphire blue, I'm going to put dioxazine violet from Soho. which I do not have a lot of, but hopefully I have enough for these. And I'm going to maybe mix it up in the way I do them. I love the ones that people do that turn out looking like flowers. I think they're gorgeous. I really should watch the videos though. Like everyone else, I'm guilty of not completely watching videos. But I do want to mention, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And hit the bell, most importantly, so you can be notified when I upload videos. Um, it is my intention in the new year to do at least three to four videos a week, maybe more. And I do acrylics and resin and alcohol inks, so I'm going to be mixing it up. It truly will be mixed media. Alright, so after those two colors, I think I'm going to go with the purple lake. Start in the middle. That's what I was afraid of. going to be mixing um, this weekend fresh batches of paint so that I can join the Porage Posse on New Year's Eve and paint with y'all. I went to Jerry's today in Nashville and um, found out 
when I got there. I had never been actually, and it's not it's 20 miles from my house, it's not far. But I found out that they do not honor the same discounts as Jerry's online. So I ended up going there. I got a few things, but no paints because the sale on paints right now is too good online to spend literally four to seven dollars more at the store. I don't need it right the second, most of them, so anyway, so that's something to know. Um, unless you're in Raleigh and you shop at that store, which apparently is their corporate warehouse. And I learned that they have corporate uh, stores and they also have franchises. So I'm going to go in here with a little, um, what is this, Folk Art Color Shift Red. Just, I don't have a lot of it, so I'm just going to add a little. And I'm going to do every other one for now. So yeah, so that was cool. And I mean, don't get me wrong, the building looks absolutely awesome. I took some pictures of it to post in one of my videos or on my Facebook page, Diane Gideon Art. Please friend me. And um, it looks absolutely amazing. So, you know, while it's a cool store and their prices were okay, I just wouldn't, you know, when you know there's better prices for the same stuff online, if you can wait. I did get some Yupo paper, though, for my alcohol inks. And I look forward to doing that in the new year. Okay. Bear with me one minute. Just gonna get something here. I have business cards made um, for Christmas so I could put them in there for my friends and family. Um, and so I was excited about that. I didn't realize that you could get paid a decent amount of money for, you know, and it's hard work, but um, for putting up like a video a couple times a week or daily and then doing some lives, if you get enough followers, but apparently that takes time. And I am running out of time. So, sorry, I was just looking to the clock on my camera. That's why I'm by. I'm running out of time. All right, so let's take the balloon and let's smash. Now you gotta smash around it, right? So I'm using colors that won't give me mud. At least I don't believe they'll give me mud. Guess we'll find out in a minute. No mud so far, but I do notice that, excuse my reach, I need to wipe some off because really all I'm getting is swirls. I'm not getting the actual flower, like almost, that I see in some other people's. works of balloon art. Who would have ever thought that would have been a thing when we were younger? So what do you do? Oh, I like to do balloon art. <laughs> or paint pouring. I just would have never, I mean, when I took art classes in college, I would have never, there was not such a thing. Although, that was a while ago, so. I am going to go on the outside because there's a lot of canvas here. So I am going to move some of the paint. And it does work. Um, 
rather well, you see there. I think if these end up looking like flowers, like I would like, which I'm honestly not counting on, but I'd like that. <laughs> Um, I might put some, you know, I might give them some definition in the middle, uh, but we'll see. Beggars can't be choosers. At this point, I would just like it to look pretty good. One thing about acrylic paints is that's different than resin is. I can have my resin dry in 24 hours or less and put a second coat on if I don't like it. If I want to put a second coat on this, i got to wait weeks for it to dry. So I'm pressing pretty hard here just to see if it makes a difference. And I realize I'm kind of leaning towards this side when I do this, but oh, that's cool. I'm fine if I end up covering the whole canvas. These blues and purples would look great with my room, with my bedroom. And I'm really actually liking that color flash red in there. Just wiping my balloon off pretty good here. And I'm going to go down here. See, I think you can put it in a puddle and pull it out, basically. And you can determine how much white you want in there, you know, depending on how much you use your balloon. I do have another balloon I could use. It's a pink one, but, um, and it's slightly smaller. This is definitely better than those really big balloons. Looks pretty cool. Alright. Now I'm just taking a look at it from this way to see about composition because I brought it out pretty far here. Wiping the balloon again down here at the other end. I do want to take it off this end. That's a lot of blue. like how this side of it is uh, more than the other side. I should say I like the way it turned out. I need to fill in this little bit, in my opinion. So I shall do that. a little more but I don't really want to pour more. That's a lot of paint I'm leaving on the canvas as it is and I do not want it to crack. I will say it looks really cool with these cells in here. Let me look at it from behind the camera where you're all at. Ooh, I like it. It's thinner down here though so maybe some right in there. Yeah let's do that. Take it back in this purple. 
we have here. Take it in here, bring it out here. Take it over here and bring it over here. Ooh, that might be cool. Oh, I kind of dig it. Well, I'm way past 10 minutes on this, like I want to try and stay, but yeah, I like that. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. Let me pause this and I'll take you down for a look. Okay, y'all, so here is the balloon smash I just did. This is the right corner. And I turned the lighting up a little so it might reflect because it's wet. But I got some nice cells in here. Try not to get too close so you can sort of see the colors as well as the design. I got it out, which I'm sure I'll be staring at for half hour. You have a lot of paint on here, so I'm so praying it does not crack. Um, but there it is from this angle. And then we shall walk around here. And here it is from this angle. I do like it. I'll try and take a picture of it tomorrow or maybe in three days when it's dry there's so much paint I think what I could do and I might do it is take um, one of my balloons down there and if I dip it in this middle part and keep wiping it off I'm just pulling paint off there but I'm not sure I have to so I don't know maybe we'll see tomorrow if it cracks it cracks but that's it. I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please uh, subscribe and click the bell. Like and comment. And I will catch you on the next video. Cheers.